What's up guys, today I wanted to go over my halftone grip band and yes, I decided to get a grip band. And the only reason why I did this is so I can now offer this as a service. I am not trying to become a full-time gaffer or grip and I do see myself using this as like a camera band eventually. But it's always nice to have everything that you need and let's walk through what we got in here. I'm gonna go over really briefly over the kit that I am renting. Uh, it's gonna be down in the description as well and on my website, which is gonna be the half ton grip band. And of course, this only goes out if I get hired along with it. But here I have some of these um, impact uh, air stands. I think they're called air stands. Uh, they're just heavy duty. They can handle a lie, they can handle a 300, um, 200 X's. They can handle those. It's not the craziest stand, but it's light and it's easy to use and they're great for lights. Now I do have both of these cards. These are both rock and roller cards. Uh, one of them does convert with this makeshift uh, tabletop. Um, it's kind of like an actual um, ghetto innovative cart, but it works. <laughs> it gets the job done. Uh, it's able to, it's a great thing to have on set because you can always set the camera on it, lenses, whatever you need while you're on the production. Okay, and back here, I actually have some flags. Um, then there's this floppy four by. I did cut up these uh, two by fours and I have one four by four as well available. Here's another frame that I have, one of the IntelliTech quick frames. Now here I have a total of 12 sandbags. Some of this stuff uh, are a la carte, most of the lights are, or you can rent the whole lighting packet. And again, everything's gonna be down in the description if you are interested in this, but I figured I'd just go over it. Um, I have some NAND lights, as you can see down there. And this is some modifiers. This is an actual dome from Aperture. These are some barn doors for the 600. Oh, this is like, this one's really cool. It's a Aperture 150. Love that dome. Um, but back here, let me get into it. Okay, so this is all my grip gear. Uh, you know, duct clamps, safeties. Um, I have some gels around there. Some pack pants so we don't poke any eyes out. And I mean, you name it. We have Carlini's in here, grip heads, additional stuff. Uh, pretty much every basic grip equipment that you have in a truck. Now up in here, I have more rags. I have a, a lot of rags for the six by. Um, and you can see them down there. I have the styling grids. I have silks. I have an egg and an ultra bounce six by. Over here, here is a Kupo, which is a five in one. It's super easy to use. It's so nice to save a lot of room, but it's a full set of Apple boxes. Um, these are my B7C bulbs. Of course, those are additional. And over here, and over here is a full crate of stingers. See, me, see, mira las líneas. Hello, hello. As you can see, the van's already packed up, uh, but we can still fit two Aperture 600s and more lights if we pack it correctly. Um, these are some LEDs. I do leave those in the car. There's like a one inch. I mean one inch, one foot, and some little small stuff. I can show you real quick. All of these I have it included, just some simple LED stuff um, to get help you get the, the little light where you need it. Now over here we have more uh, bags, and here is more C-stands. There's a total of six C-stands and one shorty. This is the six by Matthews frame that I got for all the rags. As you can see, I have a lot of extras. I have all these grip clips to go. I even have a boom pole because sometimes you just never know and it's happened where I needed it. Okay, this is my boom arm, which always comes super handy when you're trying to rig a light overhead or just something, you know, more, um, something more over. I don't know, I don't know how to call it, but it's really nice to rig a hair light or just a light that's, you know, it's gonna do something special. And this is my three knuckle riser of a combo stand. Uh, super heavy duty. I love this if I'm going to be throwing like a really big light or I just need that extra strength that my C stands or my light stands <laughs> or my light stands can't handle. But yeah, as you can tell, this is basically very close to a full ton. If anything, I'm going to be adding more flags eventually. Um, I do have an impact uh, pop up flag kit that I am including it with the van. Um, like I said, you can check down there the list. Um, I am still kind of figuring out what I'm adding and what I'm taking from the packet and what will be considered an add-on. As it is, I did take this leap because I figured why not just have all the equipment when I'm shooting some smaller gigs, some documentary, some interview style stuff, and it would just be great to have this. And to be honest, every time I've been on set, 
I've always pulled something out and I ended up saving the day. Now I didn't show this, but you can check out the previous video where I showed you what I always take on set, which is my Pelican case, uh, which has pretty much extras for everything, HDMIs, SDIs, everything that you might need. So if you're in San Diego or you're nearby, definitely hit me up and we'll see what we can create. Like I mentioned, I will have a lighting packet and the grip packet available, my cameras and everything. You can check them down below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.